Hello everyone, good morning, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, praise the Lord. Today is Saturday, happy weekend to you guys, happy weekend. The Lord is good all the time. Today, today is 28th of May 2022 and today's topic is music is beyond lyrics. Hallelujah. Before we start this morning, let's pray together. Our kind and lovely Father, King of Kings, your Lord of Lords, Father, we thank you, we honor you for who you are. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for making this week a successful week. Indeed, you are God all by yourself. Thank you, Father, for victory in Christ Jesus. Thank you for waking us up healthy and strong. Thank you, Father, for your word that you're about to receive. Thank you for wisdom and knowledge through your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, I say welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. And today's topic is music is beyond lyrics. Let's know why. Exodus 6 verse 2 to 3 says, And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, praise the Lord, by the name of God Almighty, glory to God. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. That's Exodus 6, 2, verse 3. And a man of God continued. There are some things that have crept into the house of God for many years, ruining people's life. And many never name hallelujah praise the lord for example some of the different styles of music and dance in some churches today where did where did they come from hallelujah what spirit are beyond such music and dance the spirit beyond certain music or dance is the significance of it hallelujah pastor has been you know since the new year he has been touching the subject. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He has been. So it's important that we look into this subject. Hallelujah. Because since the new year, Pastor has been inspired to touch the subject. About how we sing to the Lord. How we dance to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let's move further. If for instance a Christian likes to sing or dance to reggae music as much as we may appreciate reggae music the question would be what is the source of reggae music hallelujah music isn't just the lyrics make no mistake about it the sound of music is important just as the source is important certain music could attract demons into people's life without them knowing hallelujah may god help us all there are things that god allows us to do for a certain time for our lives and after a while he will damage he will demand a change knowing that it was within his permiss permissive will hallelujah when it brings in that changes we must be willing to embrace it Hallelujah. We read in our same scripture what he said to Moses. He said to him, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob knew me as El Shaddai. They didn't know me as Jehovah. But I am Jehovah. Hallelujah. Why was this important? By the revelation of El Shaddai, Moses wouldn't be able to bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Moses would need Jehovah revelation. And by the hand of Jehovah, he delivered the children of Israel, praise the Lord, out of Egypt. That is the purpose of the revelation that was given to Moses. Like us, as we prepare for the coming of the Lord, there are certain things we must change based on the guidance of the Spirit and revelation from this, from His Word. There is a way He wants us to live, serve and worship Him, especially through music. 
We must be open and willing to receive His guidance and correction. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Whew. What the Spirit is just letting me to say is this. What I'm getting, the signal I'm getting is this. God is the one that knows everything. And He knows Satan manipulation. And He sees what we cannot say. Praise the Lord. He sees that Satan has tempered with music. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Though it might be okay before to worship him the way we do, but there is a new revelation. Hallelujah. Because I understood this, because pastor have been talking about this from the new year. Hallelujah. New year service. Go and watch it if you've not. You'll discover what I'm saying. That is when Pastor got the revelation about the, how we sing, how we worship God, how we dance to music. Praise the Lord. Like as we can see, the, the people, the Israelites, we, they know God as Eshadah. They never knew him as Moses, as Jehovah, sorry. It was okay with God. But as time passed, he got to reveal himself to Moses as Jehovah. Praise the Lord. So that is to tell you that there is different level, different time for everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is to tell you that God is, does not like, he does not appreciate maybe the way we sing, the way we, the way we dance to him in flesh. Praise the Lord. Because we do things sometimes to show people that we are worshiping god in the church we dance and let people know that we are praising god meanwhile we are adorning ourselves we are praising ourselves not god praise the lord so this has to change you when you're worshiping god you have to worship him in spirit and in truth praise the lord not because of how your physical body we had to the sound of the music praise the lord hallelujah you have to meditate on the song Think about what the song means and channel it to the great God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confession together. Dear Father, thank you for revealing to me these treasures of wisdom and training and for educating my spirit on spiritual realities to walk in righteousness in my worship for you my sacrifice of praise and worship come to you as sweet smelly savior because they are offered from a heart washed from all worldliness and impurities in jesus name amen for that study you can look at acts 17 verse 4 it says in the past, God tolerated. Did you see what I'm talking about? Yes, we might be singing those songs before and um, it was okay for God, but God sees what we cannot see. We don't know what is happening in the realm of the Spirit. And so, He's helping us to understand that this is, we should change our, the way we worship Him. So we have to do so. Praise the Lord. Of these things, but now the time of deception has passed away. He command all souls to repent and turn to God. Praise the Lord. And First John two fifteen says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." Praise the Lord. So Corinthians says seventeen, and so the Lord says, "You must leave them and separate yourself from them." Have nothing to do with what is unclean. Now I accept you, praise the Lord. You know, Benny, he said it. Benny said, God told him to cancel Netflix because the thing is the entertainment in the world. Come on. The entertainment in the world will just make you to forget yourself. Hallelujah. You will forget to pray. You will forget to read the Bible. You will forget to do anything. You will so catch up with the things of the world. Praise the Lord. So we should limit those things that take us away from God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So Corinthians 6, 17 says, And so the law says, You must leave them and separate yourself from them. Have nothing to do with what is unclean, and I will accept you. If you want to see results in your life, this is what God is telling us. Hallelujah. Unclean things, separate yourself. Hallelujah. So that God can accept you. Hallelujah. For when your Bible will reply, you can look at John 4, in verse 1 to 14, verse 1 to 14, and 2 Kings 23 to 25. To your Bible reading plan, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 1 to 9, and Proverbs 24. So at your leisure time, go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional because I am blessed, I am touched. I am equipped. Hallelujah. The wisdom of God is working in us. Hallelujah. Praise to God. And that is why we study the scripture. That is why we have to start our day with the scripture. Hallelujah. Praise to God. So I want to use this opportunity for you. Yeah? You've not given your life to Christ. There's an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do this morning is repeat the prayer of salvation. This is the best gift I can give to you. Hallelujah. It is so important. It's so vital. It's your passport to heaven. Praise to God. Your salvation. Your certificate of salvation. Glory to God. So all you have to do, repeat with me the prayer of salvation. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. All you have to do this morning is look for a believing church and worship. Study the Bible for yourself because the Bible is the truth from how to walk in spirit and the truth to please the Father. And also in the Bible, there is also your inheritance. What you have in this life, hallelujah, what you should accept and what you shouldn't praise the Lord in your life. And also, listen to faith feed messages such like this, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for the wonderful time we had this morning. I am so blessed and I know you are lifted up as well. So before we go this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you for your presence in our midst this morning. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah. That we have received this morning. And Father, thank you for helping us to do our best. To live for you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Father. Thank you for giving us victory over Satan is God. We can never be manipulated by Satan. Hallelujah. Because we know that you are the true living God. Father, we thank you a lot for our daily bread today. Thank you, Father. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love you. Thank you, Father, for the divinity that is at work in us. Yes, we shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We shall fulfill our days. Our days shall never be cut off. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous weekend. I will see you on Monday by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs>